Hi everyone, it's Tequila from the Chinook Regional Library and I am here with another fun craft. This is our construction craft template. So you can pick these up at your local library. And inside we have a dump truck, a crane as you can see here, and of course, some instructions on how to put your craft together. And we also have a survey for your parents to fill out as well. So in this video, I'm actually going to teach people how to put the envelope together. This is so that in case you want to do this at home, or if your local branch doesn't have enough supplies, then supplies can be printed. So you will start with a piece of smiley face paper and you will have a template that looks like this. It's two, one sheet that easily detaches. And if you want, you can also ask for the instructions. So I'm going to pause the video and turn the camera around so that you can see what I'm doing in order to make our envelope. The other items you will need is a glue stick and a pair of scissors. Also for your envelope, you will need a sheet of paper cut in half. The reason why you want to have an envelope is so that you can glue your crane to the front of it and write a story, a poem, or a rhyme on the back. These are also very handy to carry extra rhymes inside. You know, for those long waits in the doctor's office or the dentist or sometimes just going through the store, gives a child something to do. So if you have printed off a piece of stationary paper, it might look like this with the white outline or it might look like this with no white outline. If your template looks like this, you want to trim off the one side of white so that it becomes the top part of your envelope here, the folding part, so that it looks pretty professional. I am just going to trim off a tiny little bit that I missed. So there, so this is what mine looks like with that piece trimmed off. So this is going to be the top of my envelope and this will be my bottom. So I am going to put the piece of paper down and then I'm going to take my instructions and my craft template and I'm going to just kind of eyeball the center of the page with this bottom piece being smaller than the top piece. I'm not 100% sure of how many uh, centimeters or inches that is. Um, go ahead and grab a ruler if you want and measure if you like. Um, I am just going to eyeball it. Then I've got my glue here and I'm going to start by folding the bottom part up and I'm folding it very tight against my template and instructions so that I get a nice crisp edge. And then I'm going to take and glue right here so that when I fold it over, it doesn't pop open and come apart on me. So I am using extra strength glue. I like this better than regular glue because it seems to stick better than regular glue. I got this at Walmart. So um, another thing that you can do is tape, or I also have some double sided tape here that I could use as well to just kind of cut off a piece and then you peel off the little paper part and it's sticky on both sides. So that also works. So I'm pressing that down. So there, as you can see, this is way smaller than the top here that's going to be our flap. 
So then I'm going to work on the sides and I try to make the sides as equally as possible so that we have a nice uh, professional looking envelope. But you know, it doesn't matter if it's not completely rectangular. So again, I'm picking this piece up and as close to the template as I possibly can press it. That is where I am folding it. Um, if you are a person that is using a ruler, you can actually tuck the ruler in there and fold over the, the ruler to get a nice sharp, crisp edge. I'm gonna take my other side and pull it straight against the template. Get a nice crisp side. So now my envelope looks like this. So I'm going to glue on these two little corners. You just want enough glue that um, you're gluing down on here. You don't want to glue the sides because then you're gonna glue your template into the envelope, which won't work for taking it out. Oops, so I'm gluing right here. And then I'm pressing that down. And then I'm putting more glue on this side. And I'm pressing it down. I'm going to make the flap piece by folding this piece down right against this template. So kind of grabbing the edges as tight as I can. Now these little pieces here I've often cut off, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to snip on the line that I created when I folded it down. And then I'm going to take and glue these in. So a little glue there and then fold over and press. So this is what it looks like so far. And this is my nice crisp flap. And then I will take one of my pieces of white paper and just kind of measure whereabouts I should stick it. You can pull it up further if you want and you can make it flush that way. All depends on what you want to do. So I'm going to take and glue on sides. And the bottom part, your fingers might get a little sticky, as sometimes that happens when working with glue. Oops, I need to come over a bit. So then I'm just pressing down like this. And that concludes our smiley face envelope tutorial. Thanks for joining me.